Hello everyone, uh, Ryan from iOS Mars here again today. I'm going to delve a little bit uh, further into Aurea here today and uh, show you a couple things. Uh, first off, I'm going to just record a little bit of audio through a digital audio input. I'm going to use uh, the Apogee Jam to record a little bit of guitar. And then I'll show you how to make a, a loop of the audio that I just recorded. And then uh, we'll take all this over to uh, Audio Bus, and I'm actually going to show you how to record Aurea directly into Aurea. So, uh, yeah, let's get started on this. Um, first thing I'll do, same thing I always do, is start just a new project. So you guys can see that uh, everything, you can see everything I'm doing step by step. So I'll just call this uh, Aurea to Aurea. And I'll pop over to my timeline view here where uh, I'll add a new track. Just a, a mono track is fine this time because, uh, you know, I'm just going to record a guitar input so we don't actually need to have stereo because it's just coming in through a guitar. And uh, that'll just be mono anyways. So a mono track is fine for this one. And I'll set up a little bit of my transport options. You know, the bars and beats is what I like to do. Um, turn my metronome on and I'll turn my count in on and then I'm actually gonna go over to my settings here the, for my main project settings I'm gonna turn the count in bars to sorry we'll turn them to two just cuz that gives me a little bit more time to get set up which is always nice when you're doing something like this so uh... yeah I'll uh... I should be able to record now yeah I can definitely hear it so, uh, yeah, let's get started on this. should be good and there we have our waveform so uh, one of the things I'll show you that I didn't show you last time is uh, there's a little hashtag thing here uh, that's our <coughs> excuse me that's our snap function for uh, for our timeline here so this is gonna come in really hand handy when we want to click quickly uh, uh, you know set up a loop or whatever so I'm actually going to take this and uh, I'll turn it to beats just because that gives me uh, the control I want here. Load it back to there. Where we should have a nice little loop. You know, I did make one one little mistake in there, but you know, I'm okay with that. You guys know I'm not perfect and uh, I make a lot of mistakes, so that's all good. So we can actually, let's go back and listen to this just to make sure. this uh, metronome and the count in and uh, yeah as of now we are ready to take this over to audio bus so I'm gonna close down my Aurea and uh, load it back into audio bus all right so uh, I have my audio bus open um, let's load Aurea directly into our output here and uh, It'll load up the last project we had going, which is the one that we just closed. And we'll pop back in just to make sure that everything is exactly how we left it. And it is. Uh, so, you know, before I show you how to record Aurea into Aurea, I did say that I was going to show you how to do some looping. So, I'm going to click this uh, arrow. To, it looks like an arrow going to a wall icon here. So, I'm going to click that icon and. Uh, create a sort of a loop here so I'm, I'm just gonna take uh, whoops I'm gonna take it and make sure that's highlighting the entire the entire waveform and I'll just pop back into my transport options and a uh, highlight loop and uh, yeah now that we have our thing looped you'll notice that the button 
has turned into a just from a straight play button to a looped play button. So we can uh, go ahead and listen to this all looped up now, which uh, should work out pretty well. I think I got the timing pretty good. So uh, I'll run this uh, again through Audio Bus, and uh, I'll actually run it through Amp Kit. So it'll be Aurea through Amp Kit back into Aurea, which is really neat because we can have our dry track and our wet track. There we go. It's a nice little loop. So you know when when we're recording, the loop's not gonna it's not gonna count. We're just gonna get the the one the one uh, uh, complete playthrough of this so uh, not really important from here on out but so we can actually take and we'll shut this looping off just to ensure that uh, that you know it doesn't cause any extra problems with us here so uh, first uh, first off I'm gonna just add the amp kit in so I'll add my amp kit in and open it up here and uh, I'm just going to pop back into Amp Kit. And we'll just use the very first acoustic setting here Acoustic and Crazy, the American Acoustic Amp. It's really nice. And uh, I don't know why, but it always seems like Aurea goes to sleep after I, uh, I visit Amp Kit. It's actually not asleep, it's fine, but it seems to, the icon seems to go to sleep. Anyhow. Uh, this is where we're going to have to pay a little bit of extra attention. So, uh, as you can see, there's an arrow next to our Aurea icon here in our input, and that's how we're going to set this up. So, as you can see, we got all our subs and our aux here. But for this, I'm going to ask you to select master. And uh, obviously, this is going to create, uh, you know, a chance for a massive feedback loop uh, if we're doing live recording in the manner that we are. So actually, to stop that from getting the massive loop, what you're going to do is uh, just po uh, click mute on the on the track that you're recording so that the live feed doesn't come through and continue to come through and through and through which causes all the problems. You'll probably have to crash out the program on purpose if, the, if you do uh, run it that way to get it to stop. But uh, yeah, we're ready to go here, um, so we can uh, actually we can actually start this. So let's uh, let's give this a go through and see what we come up with. You can see from the input meter that it actually is coming through. So uh, we'll check in a second and see what uh, what our uh, live output is, because uh, we're not going to be able to hear it right now because of what I said before, where I had to mute it. But we'll get it in one second here. All right, so there we have our our newly recorded track. So I'm just gonna un unarm our recording. I'll turn the muting off, and I'm gonna mute my original uh, dry track. So we'll just have our wet track play right now. So let's give this a listen to how this sounds. Obviously very different. But yeah, that's it. That's recording Aurea into Aurea. Just pl try to really make sure that you uh, you mute you mute the track that you are recording or else yeah you're gonna get a massive feedback loop but yeah that's all i wanted to show you guys today uh, i hope this is helpful to some people i know it uh... took me uh... you know about twenty thirty minutes of playing around to actually get aurea to record into aurea but uh... it works quite nicely i was very impressed uh, so yeah check that out if you have aurea and if you don't uh... pop onto the app store and pick it up Alright, uh, thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you guys next time.